you're looking for a way to boost your students' math skills, then check out the Math Trivium Table from Classical Conversations. It is an excellent all-in-one math tool that helps parents and students master numbers and important math concepts. The Math Trivium Table was especially developed by Lee Bortons to help students gain a deeper understanding of numbers. Students of all ages will enjoy circling skip counting patterns, learning about numbers, and practicing math facts with tables. You can use this trivium table to develop a number sense, use as a reference tool, or as a tool to help memorize math facts. On the front panel is a basic number chart. When your children are learning to skip count, have them mark the numbers as they sing them. They could circle the twos as they sing, or they could put an X on the threes, for example. Then they can see the patterns that emerge. You can also use this chart to identify the odd numbers or the prime numbers. Refer to it when you're teaching a math lesson, and it will help your student begin to visualize numbers and get to know how they relate to one another. The second panel shows some math laws and formulas that students memorize in foundations. The manner in which they are displayed helps your student memorize the information. You can use this as a review tool, or if your student is older, they can keep this in their math notebook. The layout of fractions shows a beautiful pattern that fractions can form. When your student is ready for fractions, have them look closely to help them understand equivalent fractions. One additional idea is to have your student copy this fraction chart. Copying the chart is a good way to get a student to look at something closely, to really attend to the details. The third section charts operations using math terms that students need to master. The chart shows the number 6 written as a whole number, integer, decimal, fraction, and so on. One idea is to talk through the top half of the chart with your student as early as they are ready, usually during the upper elementary years. Together, you can try to fill in the entire lower portion using numbers that you choose. Start with a small number, like 10, and then try an odd or prime number. And as you and your student get comfortable with the idea of working with numbers, try some challenging numbers like 144 or 369. Also, be sure to let your student pick some numbers to try. Encourage your student to play with numbers on this chart. The next panel is one you are probably familiar with already. This is a standard multiplication table with the factors listed across the top and down the left side, with the products in the center. Students enjoy taking a dry erase marker and drawing the lines from factor to factor to find the product. This is another useful tool you can use when teaching the multiplication tables. The next section is for your budding algebra students. It's a space where they can write an equation and use the reminders at the left to help them solve the equation systematically. You might like to use this area when demonstrating a new concept or when working practice problems with your student. The reminders at the left are first to simplify the equation. This helps students to remember to look at the equation and see if there's any way to simplify the way it is written. The second reminder is to consider using the additive property of equality. For example, if you had the equation 3x plus 4 equals 2y plus 8, you could use this property to subtract 4 from both sides, which would result in 3x equals 2y plus 4. Students can often apply this property but seldom can explain why. This chart will help them to understand the concept and the property in a deeper way. The multiplicative property works the same way. It is a reminder that they can multiply or divide the same quantity on each side. It reminds them of the property that allows them to do so. The identity property is listed next to remind the students that anything divided by itself is equal to 1. This may be the most important property for the algebra student to understand, as they will deal with a number divided by itself written in many different forms. This will help them do unit conversions in algebra class and in physical science. Finally, the distributive property is written out to remind students that they can and will be doing this often and in both directions, distributing and, as some students say, undistributing. Underneath the equation solving area is a board game that students of all ages enjoy. Board Slam. This is the game used in the National Number Knockout, the nationwide competition held each spring where the winner takes home $10,000. There are several ways to play, but no matter how you enjoy the game, every student wins because they really improve their mental math skills. On the next panel, we have the four laws that govern operations, commutative, associative, distributive, and identity laws, written with letters in the top half and spaces below for students to insert numbers of their own choice. Let your students play around with this panel and they will prove to themselves that these laws are true in addition and multiplication, but not true for subtraction and division. This is something we take for granted that students understand, but seldom give them the time to discover it for themselves. The final panel may be the most important panel for developing a good number sense, or a good understanding of numbers and how we write them. The top half of the chart takes the number 6 and writes it out in many different forms, from natural and whole numbers to fractions and scientific notation. 
The lower half of the chart is space for you and your students to play with other numbers. Choose an easy number to start with, like 4 or 10, and then as your student gets comfortable with the chart, try some larger values and play around with them. Allowing your student to play with numbers may be the thing that turns a reluctant math student into an enthusiastic math student. We hope you'll use this tool with your students no matter what their age, and let them play with numbers as much as possible. Check out the Math Trivium Table and other great resources like it at classicalconversationsbooks.com.